Mo Salah, Mo Salah, the Egyptian king. Mo Salah, Mo Salah, the Egyptian king. Hello, guys, and welcome back. This is Darling Football. I'm pretty sure you really, really enjoyed this game. Southampton versus Liverpool. Three goals to two in favor of Liverpool. Liverpool actually went away. And guess what? Mohamed Salah is the man of the moment, guys. He's absolutely amazing. I'm not going to lie. Mo Salah, Mo Salah, the Egyptian king. Guys, when he scored the second goal for Liverpool, the whole of the stadium were sinking. Mo Salah, Mo Salah, the Egyptian king. In fact, they were shouting his name like crazy, especially the Liverpool fans, guys. He's so amazing. The first goal that he scored was a world-class goal. Then the second one was a penalty. In fact, he was absolutely looking for a hat-trick, but unfortunately, he didn't get it. He was so desperate to get a hat-trick, but honestly... He didn't get it. Now, let's get right into the game. Liverpool versus Southampton or Southampton versus Liverpool. Guys, I would just say that Southampton did themselves. I'm not going to lie. Look at the first goal that Sobosla scored. It was a gift goal, guys. It was a typical mistake. Instead of you to clear the ball away, you are going to pass in your 18-yard box. I don't know why. Guys, I'm pretty sure at a point in time, they forgot that they were playing with a team leading the league table. Liverpool are leading the table. Meanwhile, you are right at the bottom. You are going to pass in your 18-yard box. The first goal was actually a gift goal. Then look at the world-class goal that Mo Salah scored. This goal is a world-class goal, guys. I'm not going to lie. If you didn't watch the game, then um, I'll urge you to watch the highlight after this video. In fact, it was a really, really world-class goal. I'm going to talk really quick about the goal that Southampton scored. In fact, the counter-attack that Armstrong got, I was thinking that he was going to shoot with the left leg, not knowing he has already thought about what to do. In fact, he turned around and then delivered the ball to Fernandez. And Fernandez, too, was quick on the ball because... Looking at the way the ball looked like, guys, if he stood on the ball, I'm pretty sure Liverpool defenders would have covered. So, right from the start, pa, one touch inside the net. So, honestly speaking, I was thinking that the match is going to end whether 3-3 or possibly Southampton are going to win. But, guys, Liverpool is Liverpool. The whole of this season, they have played a total of 12 matches in the EPL, guys. They have never recorded any loss. They have won... I mean, they have drawn only to the rest are uh, all one games, guys. So Liverpool, just as I said in the previous video, I'm pretty sure that they are going to win the title. I'm not going to lie. Looking at what uh, Manchester City are doing and then looking at what Liverpool are doing, it is clear that Liverpool are going to win the title for this particular um season guys let's get into the man of the moment Mohamed Salah he was um, crowned the MVP the man of the match of this particular game in fact he was rated um, 9.0 which is absolutely amazing 9.0 guys Mohamed Salah the Egyptian king 9.0 I'm not gonna lie Southampton if they don't take care honestly speaking they will be going for relegation 12 matches with just four points. They are at the bottom, the ultimate bottom on the league table, guys. That is where they are now. In fact, looking at the performance from the start all the way to the 70th minutes, honestly speaking, they played really, really well. But from 70th minutes all the way to the stoppage time where uh, was where they actually suffered. Liverpool actually pressured them because they needed the win badly. Liverpool needed the win badly because they want to increase the points between themselves and then Manchester City. Now they have done that. It is eight good points. The points difference between the first, which is Liverpool, and then the second is actually eight good points points guys Darwin Nunes honestly speaking it got to a point that I was a little bit annoyed because of a horrible pass that uh, I mean Darwin Nunes was trying to give to Luis Diaz guys it was a counter attack I don't know whether you saw that it was a counter attack instead of you to play the ball right in front of Luis you played it at his back literally Luis Diaz almost got injured because of the bad pass given by Darwin Nunes in fact he wanted to try as much as he could to get a touch but because the ball was at his back he wasn't able to do the touch and because of of that he almost hit the goal post guys in my own opinion Darwin Nunes was supposed to even come out of the game right from the um, 70th minutes rather than the time that they substituted him because um, he was not doing anything in the game honestly 
But guys, the man once again, I'm not gonna forget about this one. Sobo's lie to the punishment he gave to Saddam thing was so amazing. In fact, he also did an amazing job. The killing where he placed the ball was very difficult for the goalkeeper to save. Now, let me talk a, a little bit about goalkeeper McCarthy, guys. He did well, even though he considered like three goals, but honestly speaking, he did well. Look at the header that um Luis Diaz headed, and then look at the save, the way he removed the ball over the goal post guys he actually did well but you know they were playing with a super high club liverpool you know this isn't they are so amazing no matter who you are they will take a point from you so it's not surprising though a lot of people were thinking liverpool will score like five six goals plus but honestly speaking southampton have really really done well i'm not gonna lie right now all liverpool's fans are really really happy because they were desperate about this maximum three points and of course they have gotten it and in fact it is really important three points to them ball possession liverpool possessed all the ball um 62 38. Then, guys, Adam Armstrong, guys, he performed well. Looking at the penalty, honestly speaking, it was a bad penalty. I'm not going to lie. Look at the way he placed the ball. It wasn't enough. Just that he was lucky to get a second chance to, you know, convert it to a goal. If not, the penalty would have been the worst penalty I've ever watched. You are playing with a high, super club team like this and you are going to miss this penalty come on after all he scored so i'm not gonna blame him much so guys pretty much that is it i'm gonna have to say southampton performed well but just that their performance wasn't enough of course they were playing with a super high class club liverpool guys let me know your thoughts right in the comment section down below i hope you found the video useful make sure you smash the subscribe button tap on the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever i release a new video thanks for watching and see you again on the next video next will be manchester united see ya bye bye